is Cherry Blackburn and this is my mentor Julie Andrew Weirden and I am doing a day in the life of a nail technician. What is your day-to-day -day basis like as a nail technician? Well, it depends on, I just do it for, for fun really anymore. I used to do it as a profession um, and I just wanted to keep up on it. So yes, the money is wonderful, but um, I do it because I like to keep up on my skills. And the skills that I learned when I learned are not the same skills that are taught today. And so I like to share my knowledge with people to pass on to those like yourself that think they want to do what I do and help people. And it's a place where people can come and vent to me if they need to. And it's not $185 an hour. <laughs> so I don't know. I love color. I love making people feel good about themselves, and that's why I do what I do. Okay, so to prep the nail, you want a clean nail. That's why I just took acetone on a cotton ball and cleaned off your nail bed. And then I'm going to push back your cuticle, and you go underneath like that. You don't scrape. So you push like that. And you don't necessarily have to clip anybody's cuticles. Um, unless there's like you just you want to be very careful of what you're clipping so that you don't damage the nail and your nail actually will grow it from here is where you're forming new nail all the time so people say that nail that having nails ruins your nail and it really doesn't your it just takes a while for that nail to grow back to normal And I just slightly rough up put some rubbing alcohol on it and clean it off again and you don't want any oil or anything to touch that because it can cause lifting and then I put what's called a primer on to prep the nail bed so this is just a form that we put on. It's a guide. This is called sculpting nails. And definitely keep your brush wiped out because it will harden in your brush and then it takes forever to soak it out. And it can ruin your brush. And then I like to just pinch that and let it set up for a minute before we play with it. not drag into the product. So I can actually file this down so that it's even with your nails. But I just do it longer so that I have something to work with while I'm doing it. And at least this way it won't look funny yeah. or we can soak it off it's totally up to you this is the final product it might look a little bit funny but um, my mentor could not find the correct color of gold okay to properly paint a nail you must first stroke this on the side and then take the uh, finger and do it in three strokes And then kind of touch up right here and make sure that you got all the sides right just evenly distributing it and if you accidentally mess up around the cuticles then you can take this magical pen and wipe around the edges I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. I had a lot of fun on this project and I really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.